Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about the low power mode. You probably have used low power mode a lot of times on your iPhone. It's actually a great feature. It will help you get way more battery out of your iPhone when your iPhone's battery is about to die out. But of course, it has some cons. So what will happen when you actually turn on the low power mode on your iPhone. In today's video, I will show you guys 10 different things that do actually happen in the background once you have enabled the low power mode on your iPhone. And this goes mostly to people that do actually enable this feature even though their battery might be at maybe 50 or 60%. So first of all, it will actually reduce CPU and also GPU performance a lot. GPU performance being the graphics of your iPhone, CPU, of course, the processor, the processing power of your iPhone. And that's something that you can actually notice even with the newer devices. When you have enabled the low power mode on your iPhone, you will actually notice that the battery of your iPhone will, of course, last longer, but the performance of your iPhone will actually drop a lot. The next one will be the reset of auto lock on your iPhone. So on your iPhone, when you go to your settings and you go to display and brightness, you will have the auto lock feature right here. Now I always use the never mode, but of course it's not recommended that you do that just in case you forget your iPhone somewhere, maybe unlocked or something like that. You want your iPhone to actually automatically lock itself. So that's the smart thing to do. But just because of the work that I do all the day on my iPhone, I keep it on never. But anyways, even if you have enabled the one minute, two, three, four or five minutes, this mode, the low power mode will actually reset the auto lock to your iPhone to actually 30 seconds. Use any of these features, any of these options right here. Whenever you have enabled low power mode, it will automatically switch to 30 seconds and the refresh rate on your iPhone will be cut in half. So if we go under accessibility right here and then go to motion, you know that you can actually enable limit fresh rate right here. So basically it will set it to 60. In this case, we have an iPhone 15 Pro Max here with a refresh rate of 120. So if you have a device with a refresh rate of 120, it will cut it to 60. If you have one with 60, it will actually cut it to 30. So you will actually even notice this. It's actually quite noticeable, especially with these newer devices that have the 120 refresh rate so you can see right here this is 60 when it's actually limited and you can see how smooth it is with actual 120 so it's actually way way better but again anytime you have enabled low power mode it automatically cuts it in half and the wallpapers are actually disabled whether you're using the perspective zoom on a wallpaper or you're using a live wallpaper or motion wallpaper, what Apple calls them now, they will actually be disabled on the lock screen of your device. If you have a motion wallpaper, like you know that it gives you a motion when you turn up the screen of your iPhone, it actually disables it automatically. And if you sync your photos from your iPhone to your iCloud, just know that whenever you have low power mode enabled, iCloud photo syncing will be paused. So during the time that the low power mode is enabled on your iPhone, no photos will be uploaded or synced from your iPhone to your iCloud and from your iCloud to your iPhone. So if you just have that feature and you rely on that feature, maybe you need it to have just everything up to date on all of your devices, know that on any of your devices where you have the low power mode enabled, this won't happen. It will be paused until it's actually turned off. And background app refresh is also disabled. So when you go to your settings, if you go to general, you will find a right here background app refresh. When you go here, we'll have all the apps which offer this feature. Now, of course, we'll also have here the ability to enable or disable this individually for any of your apps. But anyway, however you use this, when you have low power mode turned on your device, this will actually be turned off. So just keep in mind, if you need any app to actually be refreshing in the background all the time, it won't happen when your device is in the low power mode. 
And as you know, on iOS, a lot of things will have automatic downloads. Things like the App Store, books or music, and even podcasts will have the ability to actually download stuff in the background automatically. So right here, we have the automatic downloads for the App Store. You will have the apps, the updates and in-app content. Everything here will be disabled. All the automatic downloads that are on your device that happen in the background will also automatically be disabled whenever you have low power mode enabled on your device. It also disables mail fetch for your email app. So you will have to push or manually check for your emails. That of course is one of the things that does consume a ton of battery on iOS devices. So what will happen whenever you turn on low power mode, you will have to manually just get push notifications or manually check for new emails. And some autoplay features will also be disabled, like the one on the App Store. So, you know, on the App Store, when you go to like an app, a page of an app, you will see videos of the game playing maybe, or just like a preview of an app that will automatically be played, but not if you have enabled low power mode. Low power mode also does disable all of video play on your iOS devices. And last but not least, what's really cool is that low power mode does disable itself when you reach 80% of battery charge. Now, what's really cool is that you can actually change that and it's not that hard at all. To change that limit, all you gotta do is head on to your, to your shortcuts app and from here, go to automations, tap on new automation, and then go ahead and just search here for battery level. You can set it at any percentage you want right here. I can set it at 40%, tap next, and then add new blank automation. Search here for low power mode. You will have set low power mode. Tap where it says on and switch it to off. That way, whenever your device's battery reaches that percentage you have set there, the low power mode will automatically be turned off. Again, the default, the one on iOS is 80%, but you can set it much lower. That way you don't have to wait for 80% of charge to turn off low power mode. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 10 things that do happen on your device whenever you have enabled the low power mode feature. Again, even though it's a great feature, I suggest that you only use it when you actually need it and when the battery on your iPhone is really, really low. Otherwise, it will reduce a ton of things and make your iPhone work really slow. So that is it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.